Over years of backwoods camping, I've put a lot of thought into various methods for mosquito control, and there are tons of different methods for homemade traps and repellents all over the internet, but I promise you none of them work as well as the design I'll be presenting in this video, built around a standard box fan. I learned how to build this from Dan Rojas over at the YouTube channel Green Power Science, and after my first time trying it last year and killing thousands of mosquitoes in an afternoon, I asked Dan if I could share this project on my channel so even more people could benefit. Here is the box fan that I used for this trap. I think this cost me about $15 at a hardware store. The first thing we'll need to do is orient the fan so it's blowing air away, and the side that's pulling air is facing toward us. You can see that blades of grass get pulled toward the grate and held in place. This is what we'll be taking advantage of. The square of window screen is cut to the same size as the face of the fan. Aluminum or fiberglass screen will work, it doesn't really matter which. This now just needs to be held in place. I'm using zip ties because I always have a few with me in my truck, but duct tape would also work, or if it's a metal cased fan, Dan Rojas recommends securing the screen with magnets, which is another great idea definitely take a look at his channel later. There's really nothing more to this trap, it's just a screen over the backside of a fan, but the movement and maybe the sound attracts mosquitoes like crazy. Being pretty weak flyers, they really don't stand a chance of escape once they get close to the screen. They're stuck there until the fan is turned off, but once a few hundred or thousand have collected, a spritz of diluted rubbing alcohol from a spray bottle should make sure they never fly off again. I've had great success with this trap, and I take it with me whenever I can get my truck back into my camping spots, usually powered by a battery and power inverter like this. Of course, it's just a fan, so you can easily power it off a wall outlet at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first in a small outdoor series I'll be doing, so keep watch for my new videos. As I've been filming deep in the woods quite a lot recently, I've been very thankful for all the flashlights that Thrunite has sent me for review, with their longtime sponsorship of my channel. I turn down sponsors all the time. I only accept those that I really like, and Thrunite's flashlights are truly awesome. Their TH10 headlamp is the newest light that I've been using, and it also is very well made. It can throw out a 750 lumen beam on its highest setting. The TH10 has a rubber mount that holds the light securely and is much more comfortable than other headlamps I've used. A very nice light overall. Check the video description for links if you're interested to learn more or visit throughnight.com. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.